G'day again, it's Anthony here from Nerd Alert. In this video, I'm going to show how to set up a second Proton VPN connection on OpenSense using WireGuard. And I'm sure the process will be the same for other providers. So I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. One is that given that you're watching this video to set up a second VPN connection, that you're already familiar with the process of logging into Proton and downloading a configuration file. So you will need that configuration file to run this process. And the second assumption is that you have already configured an additional VLAN for your second VPN connection. The process is very similar to the previous video of setting up your first connection with a few little changes. So let's jump in and set up a second VPN connection. From the menu, select VPN, WireGuard and Instances, and then click on the Add button to create a new instance. As with my last video, I'm going to name it Proton underscore AU underscore Perth underscore Instance. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, it just makes it a little bit easier to select them from the drop down menus. And next we will copy the private key and paste it into the private key field. And as I mentioned in my previous video, you don't need to generate a public key if you're using a current version of OpenSense. However, I have actually generated a public key, so I will paste that in there this time. The port we would usually use is 51820, but as our first VPN connection is already using that port, we're going to step it up one and enter 51821. Our tunnel address would usually be 10.2.0.2 slash 32, but again, our first connection is already using the address, so we'll change this to 10.3.0.2 slash 32. Now we're going to click on advanced mode, and in the MTU field, we're going to add 1420, and our DNS server would be listed as 10.2. Dot zero dot one, but again it's already in use so we're going to change that to 10.3.0.1 we'll leave carp as none and peers as it is we're going to check the disabled routes and we're going to add our gateway again changing it to 10.3.0.1 and now we can click save now head over to the Peers tab and then we can press the Add button to add a new peer. And now we'll give this the name of Proton underscore AU underscore Perth underscore peer. And the peer information stays the same. So we're going to copy the public key from the peer section of the configuration file and we'll paste that into the public key field. Now we don't have a pre-shared key, so we can skip that, but the allowed IPs will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0. We can copy our endpoint address from the configuration file. This will be one 03.108.231.162 and our endpoint port will remain the same at 51820 and instances will be our Perth instance and our keep alive interval will be 25 and save. Now we just need to uncheck enable WireGuard and press apply and then check it again and press apply. And now we can check the status by clicking on the status menu. And as you can see we have an up status and a handshake date and time. Now we need to assign our interface. So if we go to interfaces from the left menu down to assignments and down the bottom here you can see our instance and we will be creating an interface from that instance. Now you can give it a description if you like. I'm going to give it the description of proton underscore au underscore perth and press add. Now just go into the interface. Enable will be checked. Lock 
will be checked to prevent the removal and all the other settings will stay the same so we can click on save and apply changes we no longer need the configuration file open so I'm just going to close that and maximize the OpenSense window so next we're going to configure the gateway so from the menu select system gateways and configuration and now press the add button to create a new gateway disabled will be unchecked name will be proton underscore au underscore perth underscore gateway uh, description you can leave that blank if you like interface will be our Perth interface. The address family will be IPv4. IP address will be 10.3.0.1. Far gateway will be checked. Disable gateway monitoring will be unchecked. And the monitor IP will be 10.3.0.1. We can go ahead and save and apply. Now we're going to click on firewall and rules. Actually, no, we're going to click on aliases. Now you can see in the aliases, we already have our Proton uh, Melbourne hosts and we're going to do the same for our Perth hosts. So we can click on the add button and we will name this one proton underscore au underscore perth underscore hosts and the type will be networks content will be the guest network which is 192.168.20.1 slash 24 we can leave the other settings as they are and we can click save and apply now if you were following along in the first video you would have set up the RFC 1918 private networks rule or alias and I'm assuming that you've already got that uh, in your list ready to go so we'll move on to the next section now, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm assuming that you've got another VLAN set up in which you're going to use for this VPN. So now we'll create our firewall rules to allow that VLAN to access this VPN connection. From the menu, go to firewall rules and your LAN or your VLAN that you want to create the connection for. So I'm going to use the guest network. I'm going to click on the add button to create a new rule and now we can configure the rule so action will be pass quick will be checked interface will be guest direction will be in the TCP IP will be IPv4 protocol will be any source will be our Perth hosts destination invert is checked and the destination will be RFC 1918 private networks the port range we can leave as any so go down to the gateway and choose the new Perth gateway and then we can click save and apply changes now we will just move that firewall rule up under the DNS uh, if you have the DNS if not just move it closer to the top and again apply changes so next we're going to create a floating rule so firewall rules floating and press on the add button action will be pass and quick will be unchecked uh, interface will be left as it is direction will be out uh, down to source will be our perth dot address and destination invert will be checked destination will be our perth uh, net 
and again ports left as they are scroll down our gateway will be our Perth gateway 10.3.0.1 and we can press the show hide button and allow options will be checked we can scroll down and press save and we can apply changes so now we're going to configure NAT so firewall NAT and outbound the hybrid is already checked because we've done that in the previous video um, we're going to select or we're going to add a new manual rule so press on the add button now our interface is going to be our proton underscore au underscore perth interface our tcp ip version will be ipv4 our protocol will be any uh, we'll go down to source address which will be our perth hosts and we can scroll down to the bottom and press save and apply changes now let's head over to vpn uh, wireguard and instances we'll uncheck the enable wireguard apply and just recheck that again and apply and that really should be it so what we're going to do now we're just going to do a little bit of testing and i'm currently on my LAN, so it should remain as melbourne which it does so what we'll do now we'll just head over to our lobby and dashboard and the gateway says that it's offline and at the moment that is fine because i do know that it will work so what we'll do is we'll have a look at my network uh, settings at the moment and as you can see i have an ip of uh, 1.13 which is my lan range and what i'm going to do i'm going to unplug from my managed switch which i'm currently connected to my lan and I'm going to plug it into a port which is configured for my guest network. And as I'm no longer connected to my LAN, my firewall uh, interface or the dashboard, everything as you can see has disappeared. But we'll just check that connection to make sure I've got the dot twenty, yep, dot twenty dot one hundred, which is great. And now let's refresh the IP location website and we now have Perth. So my LAN is connected to Melbourne. My guest network is connected to Perth. So I'm just going to reconnect back to my LAN and just make sure I've got that up and running again, which my interface should, everything should come back up as you can see it is and yeah we're we're all good as you can see the proton au perth gateway still says offline but that will actually turn green very sh there you go it's just turned green and uh yeah that, that's that's all good we uh have successfully connected a second vpn connection and we're running our guest network through that vpn connection so that's it for adding a second VPN and assigning it to a second VLAN. If this was helpful, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Give the video a like, I really appreciate that. And if you have any comments or questions, throw them down below. Now my next video will be adding a third VPN, which will be for my IoT devices. And I'm actually going to set that up as an American location. So please join me for that one and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.